After months of ease from COVID-19, cases are continuing to trend upward without any sign of slowing down in Pike County. Right now what we're seeing is uh, an average of 32 cases a day, so you know, a little higher than it was the previous week. Um, that equates to about 55 cases a day per 100,000. If you really you, know, you want to normalize the data and look at it you know, across the state and the country, um, we're seeing about 55 cases a day for every 100,000. According to the CDC guidelines, Pike County is currently in the red for COVID cases and has been for a few weeks now. now historically, what we're seeing is that there's some sub-variants to the Omicron. Uh, we're seeing a, a lot, and according to one model with the CDC, about 80% uh, of the, the current population has been infected at one time or another. Um, currently, with the uh, active cases, uh, a majority, almost all, are Omicron, uh, subvariant BA5. And so what we're seeing with that is we are seeing, um, you know, easy, uh, an easier transmission, uh, it appears, but definitely, you know, less disease severity. We're not seeing the impact on our hospitals, you know, like we were with like Delta in earlier on, uh, with the Delta in early with Omicron. It's all in our hands, this life of time that's given to us all. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialist and subspecialist collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac, electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is a Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. While many public places do not require a mask, those who are at risk or immunocompromised are encouraged to wear a mask indoors. Uh, typically, we don't treat sick people. We're here for prevention, but it is a health care facility, so we do wear a mask indoors in other health care facilities, and masks are being worn you know, in um, congregate settings. But according to the CDC's community levels, when you're in the red, if you're indoors, especially if you're in congested areas, you should wear a mask particularly those who are at high risk for a poor outcome. Vaccination is still a key part of preventing the spread and severity of the disease. The, the data still holds true that about 90% of the deaths in Kentucky under age 60 were unvaccinated. And over 60% over the age of 60 uh, deaths um, in the state of Kentucky are currently remain unvaccinated. So the data clearly points to the protection of uh, vaccination that it provides um, is clear, you know, that it saves lives, decreases disease severity. So I, I can't stress that enough and I'll continue saying it because the data and the science are there. Pike County has 320 confirmed deaths from COVID-19 and 261 active cases. For more information, visit pikecountyhealth.com. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.